Hello, hello, my beautiful students. How are you? <clears throat> Hope that you are pretty fine. <laughs> Okay, sweethearts, hope that you are ready for this that we are going to be having today. And for that reason, let's start with this that I have here for you, okay? Let's start quickly, quickly with this. I love these colors, really love these colors. They are awesome. Well, I think. <laughs> well. Here we go with the topics that we have for today. So hope you are ready for this that we are going to have. First of all, I want to say hello there. Hope that you are pretty fine, pretty good, pretty cool, amazing. Having a wonderful, wonderful day. Welcome back, really, welcome back to your English class. I missed you so much. <laughs> but I know that we are going to be together soon. Well, let's go with this and let's learn something new today, as every day. Well, first of all, let's start with something new, okay? Let's start with these two words, say and tell. This is going to be the part of vocabulary that we are going to be learning today. Do you know the difference between these two words, say and tell? Obviously, we are going to start with confusing words. Okay, don't worry. But we are going to be having this today. Little by little, step by step, okay? If it is not the case, we are going to have a lot of information and that is going to be a kind of difficult for us to get everything for that reason. Let's start here, little by little. Well, Let's start with the difference between say and tell. And ah, let's start with this, say and tell. Mm. Infinity, present, past, past participle and present participle or continuous, okay? To say, say or says, set, set, say. Say something to someone. Say something to someone. That's a clue. Tell. Present, past, participle. Present participle or continuous, okay? Or progressive. Tell, to tell, right? Tell or tells, tall, tall, telling. Tell someone something. That is going to be the opposite. Say something to someone. Tell someone something. Can you see? This is the opposite. Mm. They are not synonyms. They are kind of opposites. Because we say you are going to be saying something to someone, to a person, and we tell first is the person and then the thing that you are going to be telling or saying. For example, Andrew said he was sick. Andrew say something, okay? Andrew told me he was sick. I mean, tell someone. Can you see the differences? Andrew said he was sick. Andrew told me he was sick. Ah. Andrew said something. Andrew tell or told someone. 
say something to someone, the same that we have here. He said hello. He said me hello. No, that's not going to be correct. He said hello. He said something to someone. Okay. He said hello. He said me hello. No, that's not. Her. He said hello to me. Okay, that's cool. He said something to someone. That's an extra. Okay, he said hello to me. Now let's see with this. He said his name. He said something. He said me his name. No, that's not correct. He told me his name. Oh, that's correct because he told someone something. Someone is me, something his name. He said something to someone. He said something, his name, to someone if you need it. If not, don't worry. That's going to be the difference. And here you are going to be having some phrases that can be useful. Tell the truth. I want to tell, I want you to tell me the truth. Mm. I want you to tell me the truth. Actually, we are going to be talking about this. I want you to tell the truth. That could it be cool? Okay. I want you to say the truth. No, these are going to be like exceptions, okay? I want to say the truth, baby. Amanda has never told me a lie. Amanda has never told a lie. Amanda has never said a lie. No, that's not correct. With telling the truth, telling a lie, telling a story, telling a joke, these are going to be some exceptions maybe that we are going to be having with this. Tell a story. I'm going to tell you a story about trolls. I'm going to tell a story about trolls. That's cool. I'm going to say a story about trolls. No. Okay. Or tell a joke. I to John told us a terrible joke. Okay. John told a terrible joke. John said a terrible joke. Told es más como contar. Say es más como decir. Okay, but now let me tell you this. What's the difference? Okay, to say something to someone, as we were saying, Ron said something really funny to me. Or we can say, you can, we can just say that and a close. John said that he received good news. With the reported speech, for example, we were using it this. Jen didn't say when she will return. Jen didn't say when she will return. Okay. You can use also the word or, or the verb say with W questions and a noun clause. Jen didn't say when she will return. Actually, we are going to talk about this relative clause. My say to and your verb. My teacher always says to work hard. Mi maestro siempre dice que trabajemos duro. My teacher always says to work hard. Okay, that's excellent. But now we tell, we are going to have tell someone something. Okay. Nobody told Jim about the meeting. Sarah or Zara told Bob the good news. 
But as we were learning in the last uh, slide, we have some exceptions. Tell a lie, tell a story, or tell the truth. With those three or four, we are going to be using tell, not say, okay? Ben has never told a lie. Excellent, those are exceptions. Here, for example, say versus tell. I have a lot of material for you in order that we can learn it as well. You say something to someone. Ellen said, I love you to her dad. Rock says he has a new job. I said that I was sorry with clothes. Mm. And now you tell someone something. Helen told her dad that she loved him. Rock told me that he has a new job. I told Jackie that I was sorry. Can you see the differences? But one more time, he are going to be having deceptions, tell a joke, story, lie or truth. He told a joke, she tells good stories. They told a lie. I always tell the truth. They are not these, um, these situations are not going to be working with the verb say. They are going to be working with the verb tell. Can you see the difference between say and tell? Say something to someone. Tell someone something. And be careful with the exceptions that we are going to have. What do you think till this moment? If you are difficult. <laughs> No, I know that you can do it. Well, here you have more examples. The difference between say and tell, you say something to someone, you tell someone something, okay? Richard says he has a new card. Mary said, I'm tired to his father. Michael said he was tired. You tell someone something. Richard told me he has a new car. Mary told his father, I'm hungry. Michael told Richard that he was tired. And one more time, remember deceptions. Tell story, jokes a story, a joke, a lie, or, or the truth, or plural stories, jokes, lies, or truths. Mary tells nice stories. I told a joke, he told a lie. I always tell the truth. That's what we are going to be having. But say your tale. Ah, you say something, but you tell someone something. Tell is used with an indirect object. Tell me something. Tell John something. That is the indirect object, okay? Here you have some examples. I told her the story. Why don't you tell him the truth? Okay, her, him, them, us, okay? And say is usually used without an indirect or indirect object in case we want to add an indirect object after say, we introduce with two, okay? Direct. Examples, John said to Zara that she was beautiful in her red dress. Okay, if you are going to be having an indirect object or a person, for example, you need to use the word to. I've just finished doing my homework. He said to his mom, 
If you use to with say, you can have people. If you don't use to, you cannot have people in your sentence, okay? You need to use tell. You say something to someone. Alex said hello to everyone. You tell someone something. Jack told Jill he was tired. Say, say hello, say good morning, say please, say thank you, say yes, say no, sorry, excuse me, a word, happy birthday, say happy new year, say good luck, congratulations, or see you soon, right? Or we can just tell, tell the time, tell the truth, tell a light, tell your name. A story, a secret, a joke, the way to the station, the difference between two things or how to do something. Mm. Be sure to say please and thank you. She didn't say a word when she arrived. Say hello to your parents for me. Please say a few words to the group. The children ignore everything I say. You must thank them. Say something. I'm impressed, I must say. I understand, say no more. How do you say water in Spanish? He disapproved and said it and said it loud and clear. She said nice things about you. What do you what do the critics say about the book? We'd say. We tell, the boy refused, tell me his name. Don't tell a lie, tell me the truth. Did she tell you how to do it? Tell me all about your holiday. Can you tell me the way to the station? Tom is good at telling jokes. They are so alike, I can't tell the difference. An old lady told my fortune. Tell me your secret. I won't tell anyone. Tell those children to stop making noise. It looks expensive. Did she tell you the price? Jack will tell you the latest news. These are examples we say, and these are examples we tell. But also we are going to be having a new word. You have, or you already know where to use say and where to use tell. Hello, so a prayer, few words, no more, good morning, afternoon, something, nothing for Satan for sure. Examples, or we tell somebody, somebody's name, somebody the way, somebody saw, someone's fortune, one from another, the difference, the truth, the time, a lie, a story, a secret, or a joke. But also be careful because we are going to be having another new word. Okay. Ask. Ask sometimes is going to be a kind of similar, like say, or tell, depending what you are going to be having. But ask, ask a question, ask a favor, ask the price, ask after somebody, ask the time, ask around, ask for something or ask for somebody, okay? Para preguntar. Here you have different uh, examples about how to use how say, tell, and ask are used almost the same that we were talking about. Okay. Till this moment, what do you think? It's not a kind of difficult, right? These are new words that are going to be very, very, very useful for you. So don't get uh, confused with this that we are going to be having, okay? These verbs are going to be very, very interesting about how we are going to be using them. Bueno, let's continue now with this, okay? Now you know the difference between say, tell, and ask. 
that is going to be asking a question, asking for a favor, a favor, okay. But now let's continue with something new that we have here for you. Something new that we have here for you. Eh, 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 eh. <laughs> let's continue with the next part of the topic that we were having, okay? So we were agreeing and disagreeing. I love uh, this car. Agree and disagree. So do I disagree. I don't, or I don't like it very much. Can you see how I am going to be using this? We were saying, I am so hungry. So am I, I am so hungry. So am I disagree. Oh, I am not or I'm not. There's something there, there's something there. I can do this. Agreeing and disagreeing. So can I, I can do this. So can I. Really, I can't. I can't, I can't do this, I can't. Really, I can't. Or here, for example, I don't like eggs. I don't like eggs. Agreeing and disagreeing. Neither do I, or neither do I. Oh, I do. I do, neither do I. A mí tampoco. Oh, a mí sí. I'm not happy. Agreeing and disagreeing. Neither or neither am I. I am not happy. Neither am I. I am. I am so happy. Or here, I can't help you. I can't help you agreeing and disagreeing. Neither can I, neither can I. I can, I can help you. No puedo ayudarte estando de acuerdo cuando tú le dices que, bueno, que dices que tú también estás de acuerdo, ¿no? Neither can I, yo tampoco, estando en desacuerdo. I can, yo sí, yo sí puedo. I can help you. ¿Cómo lo ves hasta el momento? Not so difficult, right? But well, let's continue here. Ay, ¿por qué no se...? Ah, bueno. Vamos a desmenuzar esto, chicos, ¿ok? So do I, or neither do I. So do I, neither do I. Okay, here we go. When we agree with something, someone or someone, say with something someone says, sorry, estoy toda gripienta. When we agree with something someone says, we use the word so. Cuidado, porque so va a significar varias cositas. So va a significar también, igual que el to, pero también va a significar so de mucho. No so amazing. Padrísimo. No so cold. Friísimo. Y el to también va a significar mucho. De hecho, lo, lo vamos a ver, ya lo vimos. The sentences are affirmative with some example. Tom likes tennis. 
I like tennis too. A Tom le gusta el tenis. A mí también me gusta el tenis. I like tennis too. Sale. Tom likes tennis. Tom likes tennis. A Tom le gusta el tenis. So do I. A mí también. Tom like tennis, so do I. A Tom le gusta el tennis, so do I. A mí también, so do I. Este do, siempre lo vamos a estar poniendo, pero no significa que siempre es el do, sino que es el verbo auxiliar del tiempo del que estés hablando. Como estoy en presente simple, el verbo auxiliar del presente simple es el do, do or does. Ese es mi auxiliar. No puede decir so I o I so. No, so, do, I. Aquí, por ejemplo, Pat can swim. I can swim too. Pat puede nadar. Yo puedo nadar también. O sea, ambos podemos, ¿no? Ah, bueno. Pat can swim. So can I. Pat puede nadar, yo también puse so y el can, porque acuérdate que es mi auxiliar de lo que estoy, del tiempo del que estoy hablando. Y este yo también es para afirmaciones y cuando estás diciendo que estás de acuerdo con la otra persona, que tú también haces eso, que tú puedes hacer también eso, o que tú también eres eso, ¿no? Pat can swim, I can swim too, yo puedo nadar también. Pero mira, Pat can swim. So can I, yo también, el can, porque es el tiempo con el que estábamos hablando, presente con el modal can. Jack was ill. His sister was ill too. Jack estaba enfermo, su hermana estaba enferma también. Ah, Jack was ill, so... His sister, ya que estaba enfermo, también su hermana, pero aquí le falta algo. ¿Qué sería eso? So was his sister. Excellent. Jack was ill. So was his sister. Su hermana también. Aquí, este so do I, ya es más corto para no decir, um, ya que estaba enfermo, su hermana estaba enferma también, que estás especificando mucho. Aquí ya generalizamos más, ya que estaba enfermo y su hermana también. No. Ya was ill, so was his sister. Bob has been to London. We have been to London too. Job has been to London. John has been to London too, John. Había ido a Londres, John. Había ido, había estado en Londres también. Ok. Bob has been to London. So have we. So have we. Nosotros también. So. Bob has been to London. So have we. Bob había estado en Londres. Nosotros también, porque, pero ¿por qué Paul will have? Si aquí está pone con el has, ah, es que estamos hablando de nosotros, es el auxiliar del tiempo, pero no dejes a un lado el sujeto, sale dependiendo de quién estemos hablando, quiénes estemos respondiendo, quiénes respondan, quiénes digan que también es el auxiliar específico que vamos a usar. When we agree with, when we agree with something, 
someone says, and the sentence are negatives. Negative, we use neither or neither. Ok. Una cosa es decir, ay, yo también, pero ahora quiero, cuando alguien me dice, no me gusta la ensalada. A mí tampoco. O sea, estás eh, estando de acuerdo con alguien, pero en una cuestión negativa, ¿no? Para ello, vamos a utilizar el neither. Sale. Jack doesn't like football. I don't like football either. ¿Te acuerdas que te enseñé que podías poner el neither o el either? Esto ya es un repasito. Jack doesn't like football. I don't like football either. A Jack no le gusta el fútbol. I don't like football either. A mí tampoco me gusta el fútbol. Este, si fuera afirmativo, sería el to que vimos. Pero como ya estás diciendo que no, entonces ponemos el either. No puedes poner el neither porque acuérdate que no podemos tener dos cuestiones de negación en la misma oración. Jack doesn't like football. I don't like football either. A Jack no le gusta el fútbol. A mí no me gusta el fútbol tampoco. Y estas oraciones son correctas. These, these sentences are correct. But we can have another way to agree in a negative form with someone. Jack doesn't like football. Neither do I. Oh, Angie, but here we are having doesn't. Yes, we have doesn't because we are talking um, in simple present. Okay, but as we continue saying that, no, in simple present, my auxiliary verb in simple present for this uh, pronoun is do, I cannot say, uh, neither does I, neither does I, no, I cannot do that because do is for I, we, they, you, does or doesn't is for she, he, it, John is not a doctor. I'm not a doctor either. And these sentences are correct. You can use them as much as you want. But let me tell you, as we were mentioning, that we are going to be having other parts also. John isn't a doctor, neither am I. I'm using am because I'm talking about myself, no? I'm using the pronoun I. So John is not a doctor, neither am I. I cannot say neither I'm not I, no, because it's double negative. And I cannot do that. John isn't a doctor, neither am I. Yo no es un doctor, yo tampoco. O oh, yo tampoco lo soy. Aquí es cuando está diciendo yo tampoco. But be careful with the auxiliary verbs of the tense and the specific auxiliary verb that you are going to use with the subject that you are having. For example, guys, here, quiz time. Jack likes skiing. So do I. Affirmative, you are agreeing in an affirmative way. I didn't go out. Aquí estás diciendo que no vas a salir. Tienes que decir, yo tampoco. Bueno, mi hermano tampoco. I didn't go out. Neither did my brother. Auxiliary verb. Oh, here is negative. Yes, your auxiliary verb has to be in affirmative because you already have here the negative form. And as you have the negative word or the negative form here, we are going to be having the auxiliary verb. Not in negative because you already have the negative word that is going to be transforming everything into a negative sentence. I didn't go out. Neither did my brother. Neither did my brother. Did, did, because they are in simple past, okay? I don't have blue eyes. 
I don't have blue eyes. Be careful, be careful here. Nor does Janet. Nor does Janet. Nor does Janet. Or neither does Janet. Do you remember neither nor? You can use neither or you can use nor. Hey, here you are learning the next rules. I don't have blue eyes, nor does Janet, or neither does Janet. Your auxiliary verb does because we are talking about the third person and we are in simple present. I am hungry. I am hungry. So is my sister. So is my sister. So is my sister. Verb to be, verb to be, verb to be with I, verb to be with my sister. I mean she. But we are having the same auxiliary verb, just the conjugation is going to be different because of the subject. Paul ate a sandwich. Paul ate a sandwich. So did I, so did I. I am using did because my sentence is in past. That's the reason, that's the reason why we are using did because remember that this is the auxiliary verb for past, because if we are talking in past, we need to have the auxiliary verb for past. If we are talking in present, we need to have the auxiliary verb for present, depending if it is present with verb to be, or if it is present with do or does. So did I. Margaret is going shopping. Her mother, Margaret is going shopping. Her mother. What do we have here? What do we have here? So is her mom or so is her mother. Excellent. Margaret is going shopping. So is her mother. Hey, can you see why? Okay. Hmm. <laughs> Because doesn't matter if we are talking in future with going to, the auxiliary verb is going to be the verb to be. We cannot say, so is going her mom. No, no, no. Remember that the principal one in future with going to is going to be is. That's why we are having this. So is her mom. So is her mom. I have never been to America. My brother, I have never been to America. Ten cuidado, será afirmación o negación, porque puede ser una um, afirmación con sentido negativo. Neither has my brother. Neither has my brother. I have never been to America. Neither or neither has my brother. Nunca he estado en América. O sea, estás diciendo que no. Y es una afirmación, es una oración afirmativa con sentido negativo por este never. No puedo poner I, I have a never. No, el never ya me vuelve todo negación. No, entonces es por eso que aunque no tenga un haven't, un not, este never le está dando todo el sentido negativo a la oración. Sale, hay oraciones negativas puras y hay oraciones negativas que, bueno, no son puras, ¿no? Como en este caso, que no tengo una negación como tal, pero tengo una palabra que me vuelve negativa toda. Yo nunca he ido a América, o sea, estás diciendo que no. Y como estás diciendo que no, te usas el neither o el nor en su caso. No. Y como estás diciendo o hablando de tu hermanito, estás diciendo que mi hermanito tampoco. Y entonces mi hermanito, que es él, 
tiene que ir con el has porque es presente perfecto, ¿no? Como es presente perfecto, pues tengo que conjugar dependiendo a los sujetos y el have y el has son los verbos auxiliares del presente perfecto, pero este has es el auxiliar que le correspondería a my brother, o sea, a he. I don't have a car. I don't have a car. Esta es una negación pura, tiene la negación. I don't have a car. My sister. I don't have a car. My sister. Nor does my sister, or neither does my sister. Both of them are correct. Both of them are correct. I don't have a car, nor does my sister, or neither does my sister. Do and does, because done or do is for I, and does is for my sister, for her, for the personal pronoun, she. Okay. Doesn't matter is if the auxiliary verb is going to be changing. The most important is that the auxiliary verb is the same in the tenses. Okay. Don't and doesn't belongs to simple present. So we are not going to be having a big deal here. But it has to change because of the subject. Or for example here. I will go to the library tomorrow, my friend. What do you think? Excellent. I will go to the library tomorrow. You are saying that yes. Oh, so will my friend, so will my friend, future and future. And here we are not going to be having situations because will is going to be the same for each personal pronoun, for each subject. So you are not going to be suffering anymore. I will go to the library tomorrow. So will my friend. Ay, me falta una R aquí. So will my friend, so will my friend. Mm. What do you think? Is it difficult? Well, me too. We are going to be talking about so do I, so can I, so am I, agreeing with positive statements, okay? We are going to be having me too. And I am human. I am human. So am I, so am I, I am human, so am I, soy humano, soy humana, yo también, ya no necesitas decir yo también lo soy, ya el yo también lo soy está dentro del am, queda como un yo también, o puedes usar el famosísimo me too, pero ese como que ya está muy trillado, es muy simple. No pasa nada, ¿no? Es muy coloquial, claro que sí, pero es importante que también conozcas estas expresiones. Las conozcas, las reconozcas, pero también puedas usarlas. Por eso es que hoy voy tan despacito, porque como que ya estoy presintiendo que estás así como que, ¿eh, qué es esto? <risa> no, es por eso que ahorita me ves así como que, relax, relax, easy, easy, take it easy, take it easy, eh, eh. Eh, 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 no. I am human, so am I. Yo también lo soy, so am I. I can talk, so can I. Yo también, yo también puedo. The same auxiliary verb, depending the person. So can she, so can we, so can Luis, so can my brother. Don't worry. I like noodle. So do I. Oye, pero ¿por qué el do? So do I. ¿Por qué el do? Porque es el auxiliar del presente simple. 
No, no necesito tener ahí, I do like noodles. No, 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 no. No voy a poner so like I. No, no, vamos a poner el verbo. Vamos a poner el auxiliar correspondiente al tiempo gramatical. Y como dice, me gustan los fideitos esté presente, a mí también, so do I, pero pusiste el can, pusiste el am, es que es el auxiliar del, del presente con el verbo to be, y puse am, no porque diga I am human, so am I, ese puse el am porque estoy poniendo el I, pero si dijera so she, sería so is she, so is Pedro, so is Juan, so are we, también nosotros, no, entonces, mientras el verbo auxiliar sea el adecuado, ese lo conjugas con el, la persona de la que estás hablando. Y aquí puse el can porque el can es el mismo, para, es el mismo auxiliar para todos, los, para todos los pronombres personales. Y aparte, es el auxiliar del tiempo, es presente con can. Sí, entonces aquí, ¿cuál es el estoy en presente? No tengo verbo to be, obvio, no pongo verbo to be, no pongo can, porque obvio no tengo can. ¿Cuál es el auxiliar? El like no es el auxiliar, el auxiliar es el do, el does, el will, el ghoul, el did, el, el is, del going to, ¿no? el have, ¿no? dependiendo del tiempo gramatical. Aquí, me neither, yo tampoco. Neither do I, neither can I, neither am I. Agreeing with negative statement para que tú digas, yo tampoco estoy de acuerdo. Ok, that's what we are going to have. I am not a cat, no soy un gato. Neither am I, yo tampoco. Neither we are, nosotros tampoco. Que diga, neither are we. Neither are we. Pues estoy leyendo la primera oración, sorry. Neither are we. Neither are we. Pongo el ar porque estoy hablando de nosotros. Nosotros tampoco. Neither is Luis. Neither are my friends. Tampoco lo son mis amigos. No. I can't fly. No puedo volar. Neither can I. Neither can we. Neither can Maria. And here we don't have a situation because can is the same for each one of us. Okay, I can't fly, neither can I. Y aquí ya no voy a poner negación porque por eso ya tengo mi tampoco. Y como ya dice que no, mi verbo pasa afirmativo, tranquilo. I don't like hot weather. Aquí sí tiene el auxiliar del tiempo para decir que no le gusta el clima caliente. Neither do I, a mí tampoco. Pongo el do porque es el auxiliar correspondiente al presente simple y do va con el I. Si estoy diciendo que a mí tampoco, si quisiera decir a nosotros tampoco, neither do we. A ellos tampoco, neither do they. A ella tampoco, neither does she. Neither la, does Ángeles. Neither does Rafael. No, neither does my dog. ¿Cómo lo ves? Also, we are going to be having this. Well, I don't. Expressing disagreeing. Cuando tú de plano ya no estás de acuerdo con algo. A mí me gusta el pollo. A mí no. Yo corro siempre. Yo no. Yo no quiero jugar. Yo sí. Ah. I am a cat. Soy un gato. I am not. Yo no lo soy, ya no te usas ni el so do I, ni el so am I, ni el neither am I, porque no estás estando de acuerdo de que yo también o yo tampoco, tú estás completamente en desacuerdo. I am not, I am cat, I am not, yo no, yo no lo soy. I am not human, I am, no soy humano, yo sí. Igual, mismo tiempo auxiliar, mismo verbo auxiliar dependiendo del tiempo. I am not human. I am. Yo lo soy. Yo sí, yo, soy, yo sí lo soy. I live in Antarctica. I don't. Yo no. Y pongo el don porque es el auxiliar del presente simple del que estoy hablando, pero como estoy diciendo que yo no, que yo no vivo en Antarctica, I don't. 
¿no? O I don't live in Antártica, yo vivo en Antártica, Antártica. Si tú dices, yo no vivo en Antártica, dices, ok, es correcto, pero como que no embona tanto, ¿no? No, no, no tiene como esa continuidad de que vivo en Antártica, yo no vivo en Antártica, dices, ok, suena muy duro. A diferencia de decir, ah, yo no, yo vivo en Puebla, no, yo vivo en México. Mm. I live in Antártica. I don't, yo no. I don't live on Earth. I do, we do, my sister does, my dog does. Yo no vivo en la tierra, yo sí, mi perro sí, nosotros sí, do, does. A no ser que quieras estar de acuerdo y decir, yo ta nosotros tampoco vivimos en la tierra, ah, neither do we. I can fly, Poland. Oh, I can't, oh, I can't. Oh, yo no, yo no puedo. I can fly. Oh, me too. So can I. Si estás de acuerdo en que tú también. I can't speak English. No puedo hablar inglés. I can, yo sí. Oh, neither can I. Yo tampoco. O estás en contra o estás diciendo que tú tampoco, pero no puedes decir, ay, uh, uh, so can I, no puedo hablar inglés, yo también, so can I, me too, no, no encajaría. ¿Qué opinas? Easy or difficult, this is the beginning of the success. Let's do this. I'm going to, I'm going to give you some exercises about this. Try to check them out and let me know your impressions, okay? And on base of your impressions, we are going to continue with this topic because as you can see, this is getting interesting and interesting and more interesting. Yes or no? I think that you are learning new things. And this is going to be one of the most important things that we are going to be having. And this is the beginning because we are going to continue more with this, okay? So let's practice a little bit with some exercises that I'm going to be giving you. And after that, we are going to continue. We almost finished with this. <laughs> Okay, my sweethearts, remember that if you have any question or any situation, let me know, and I'm going to be helping you. Have a wonderful day, and I will see you soon. Bye-bye.